Happy New Year, everybody. It is 2022, and welcome to The Casey Show. I can't believe it. It's 2022. It's already the beginning of a new month and a new year. A lot has happened in 2021 that I am grateful for. I'm on it. I'm honestly thankful for. But one of the saddest things that happened last day of, of 2021 was yesterday I had a notification and one of my favorite, favorite actresses died, Miss Betty White. Yeah, everyone was looking forward to her turning 100. Her birthday was going to be on January 16th. So it the new the an end of the year sucked because my favorite actress died and it's oh, it's crazy like I was getting ready to go to work and then all of a sudden I see this notification. I'm like, Betty White died. I started to cry literally. But right now it's 2022 and I am so ready for a fresh new start. Let's see. It's going to be two years working at my company, Five Below. So I'm going to give you a refreshment, a summary of my 2021. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I didn't have enough time to make my YouTube video. So I started, so I'm like, why not do it today? So this video is going to be, this video is going to be about 2022 plans and what happened last year. So last year I had no idea what was going to happen in 2021. For starters, a perfect way to end the year was to have Spider-Man. I saw the la- I saw Spider-Man No Far From Home with my boyfriend. It was a really good movie. I loved it. It had the most amazing cast. It had. Now, this might be spoiler alerts, but don't watch the video if you want if you want to if you don't want to hear spoiler alerts. It had Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, Zendaya, Chester Cumberbatch in the movie. It was so freaking good, and it was a good, it was a good way to, it was a good way to end the year with a with the best movie. It actually beat the Avengers Endgame. It actually beat the whole uh, range of how how big of a audience it got. But I saw it with my boyfriend, and it was so good, so good. So 2021 has taught me so much. It taught me so many life valuable lessons. It taught me be myself. Don't be somebody who I'm not going to be. It taught me to love myself for who I am. It taught me to be the woman I am today. And it came out with, uh, I came out with something good at the end of the year. I finally had the love of my life back. I have my boyfriend back and it feels so amazing. So amazing. But the hardest part is when people don't accept a relationship which is the worst thing ever because him and I have been through so much together so much and yet we are officially back together hint hint we're back together but it I got the love of my life back and it's the best feeling ever when you've let me just tell you guys something you guys are new to the whole dating thing I should make a video about that the dating scene or something like that but I'm just so happy to be back on my YouTube channel. I am so happy that it's the new year. I'm really sad that Betty White died though because I was I was getting really excited for the new magazine to come out for People Magazine. But uh, let's talk about 2021. 2021 was a rough one. I didn't know what to expect out of 2021. I didn't know what to expect. But I got all my booster shots done. I just had to hit the flu shot. So far so good. 2021 like these are the highlights of 2021 for starters i lost lots of weight i've been on a journey of losing weight and it's been a rough one for the last couple of years because i was a little heavyweight right now i weigh less which is great what i don't know what wanted me to lose weight i just did it so during the spring or during yeah during spring spring comes first before summer but during the springtime i go i went on my bike i started to go back on the biking routine i would go, like like for instance if i like i would go to my mom's house i would go do the lawn i would go to the library and get lots of videos to watch movies and then once summer came i had a full routine of going out going on my bike, going on a bike ride, going the farthest I can. If it were up to me, like, I think I've been on my bike for the last, I think I've been on my bike, the longest I've been on my bike was for four or three hours, give or take. But 2021, it brought me close to myself, brought me close to who I am. And it brought me back the love of my life back. And the love of my life is the man I want to marry. We both want marriage and we both want kids. 
and it feels incredibly I'm honored to have him back in my life because when you think you lose somebody it's the worst feel in the whole entire world you feel like your heart is broken into pieces and I got him back and through a really I was going through a toxic relationship and he saved me and it was the best feeling ever then I reunited with one of my friends Tyler and we've been buds since my freshman year of high school which wasn't at an actual high school but I reconnected with old friends I lost friends in 2021 not as in dying I was betrayed by one of them and I lost them and one of them actually reached out to me but then I'm like do I really want to talk to this person so no um 2021 also brought me booster shots I took all my booster shots and 2021 I didn't know what I was going to get myself into 2021, to be honest. Uh, then I started this whole YouTube channel, which I had originally, but I wanted to make something out of myself. I wanted to make a show about me and about what's going on in my life. So yeah, the best movie I did see was Spider-Man Not, Not Far From Home with my boyfriend. We It was our first date. It was the best and we saw it in 3d okay now when you see a movie you don't want to see in 3d because when you have glasses like i do i had to wear it and it kind of gave me a headache but it was a good movie the suckish part is, is it was a three hour movie and i had to go to the bathroom the one thing you want to do is you want to hold it in so you actually see the whole entire movie but 2021 has taught me life valuable lessons it taught me don't be ashamed of who i am don't be something that i'm not and just chase my dream my dream right now is to live life to the fullest and be the woman that I am today. I wouldn't be the woman that I am today without my mother. But also, so 2021 also brought me challenging jobs. So I work at Five Below now, but I needed to get, so basically when you have to get a second job, you have to, you have to like get money. So what I did is I applied at Bye Bye Baby. I got accepted on August 13th and i started there it's very 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 complex as in very challenging like you're not the one who just sits stands and do nothing i had to do what i did was it's like amazon you know how amazon packages stuff well i did that that was the best part but it was really stressful because like i didn't know what i was getting myself into so it didn't last that long it took me i think two weeks to stay there then i had to find another job because I needed the money. Then I applied at Chili's. I was a hostess. Now being a hostess was, can be fun, but it was really hard for me because I can't memorize anything. So as of right now, I'm still working at Five Below. I've almost been working there for two years. So it's been a hoot. But 20, what else has 2021 taught me? It taught me basically don't be something that you're not. Just be who you are and just be the person you want to be and just reach the stars and just don't care what anybody else thinks of you like I don't know because as of right now I am madly in love with my boyfriend uh, we're working on a relationship and some people are not fans of my relationship which I don't appreciate but Pete haters gonna hate and I am no longer like they care so much about me. It's just the comments don't help. Cause some comments they can hit you like a like like a like electricity. But it I just can't believe it's 2022. So much I have so many life goals right now. My number one goal is I want to work on saving my money so I can have an account with my boyfriend so we can actually you know get our life together and just work on being us and. My other goal is to um, get my license because as, as nobody knows this secret, but I do, I don't have my license. I So last year, I um, took the written test twice and I failed twice. It is the hardest thing to do ever. It is like the hardest, hardest thing to do ever. It's hard. It's really hard. It's like like when I failed once, I'm like... I wanted to give up, but I can't give up right now. I need to get my license. But the one main goal I want to do is to move to like find a condo with my boyfriend and just start our future together. Then maybe work on marriage, then kids. But 
I want to also work on making more YouTube videos, but I had to figure out what I would talk about because right now this is going to be new year, new me, and yeah. Um, what else can I, what, so I have, that's three goals. Wait, my first goal is to get my license, work on my relationship with my boyfriend, and see where the, where, see where the road takes me, I guess. Christmas. Christmas was fun, actually. Christmas was fun. I got this amazing watch from my sister. I kept telling people, I need a new watch. So it's actually a cool watch. I got this. It says Unstoppable. I love the song called Unstoppable by Sia. It's a good song. But we'll see what 22 has to bring to me. I just, I'm just like a little bit tired because I got off of work at 4 o'clock. I worked 11 to 4 today. I'm going to get more shifts coming in, but it's crazy. Oh, but yeah. Oh, so what's com what's coming in my life right now? I don't know yet, but we'll see what happens. As of right now, I've been binge watching Arrow. I'm a huge CW fan of superhero movie shows. My boyfriend and I watch Bubba Fett, which is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. And the first episode, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of boring. Really boring, but you got to understand it. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm very talkative when it comes to my online process. So, and I'm really still heartbroken about Betty White. Everyone was looking forward to celebrating her 100th birthday. But, yeah. So, that's what's going on, everybody. Um, as you can tell, I got, I, got, I got this super cool jacket. It's my favorite. I saw it at Kohl's. I'm like, I gotta get it for Christmas. So, I got it for Christmas. But... I don't know what's yet to come to my YouTube channel. I don't know what yet to come, but I have to figure that out. But I have to think of new topics. Like, I am I gotta make more videos. Yes, I understand that. So I had to, I don't know what episode this is of my the KC show, but hope you all subscribe to my KC show. Just subscribe underneath and you can comment below. But remember, no rude comments because it's not worth my day and I don't want to read it. So I would love it if everyone would subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called The Casey Show. And more videos are yet to come. I just got to figure out what they should talk about because I, I know I have to get more viewers. My other best friend has my best friend, the whole wide world. We have our own show. It's called The Best Friend Show. We have to work on what our videos are going to be about, but I don't know yet. But oh my God, I just can't believe that January is here. It's finally here. And yet we have snow, everybody snow 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 i mean the one year i thought we weren't gonna have any snow it snowed a little but then today it made up for last year yep talk about a talk about a killer snowstorm anyways everybody have a fantastic new year new month and new day everyone have a great day and a great new year and i will figure out what my new videos will be about everyone have a fabulous day i love you all bye